Hi there, Joka here. And in this video, I'm sharing the cards that I've made with the Spa Binders June Small Die Kit. So this is the kit and there you can see that there are a bunch of border type um, dies in this that you can use different ways. There's um, some, um, you know, these these outline kind of border pieces. I, I don't know how what to call them, but basically you can create solid shapes or use the inside of the die and then it's more intricate. Um, well, if you've been following me for a while, then you know, or maybe it was already obvious which piece I'm going to use. Um, I love, love, love um, using smaller dies to create background patterns. So this is what I'm doing. Um, this is, it, it actually doesn't take very long. It, if Maybe it looks a bit overwhelming at first, but it doesn't take long. There's two um, layers and I used a darker shade um, of a color for the bottom layer. And um, as you can see the color scheme over there, um, I just die cut a bunch of pieces from each um, color. So like three, uh, I think some of them are just two. And as luck would have it, these, if you place them close enough, so literally um, below each other, right next to each other, so they will completely fill up um, a five and a half inch card. So I was kind of lucky with that. But uh, then, you know, I didn't, I kind of didn't calculate how many I need from what color. So it's, probably quite random. I think maybe in the middle I have to, I, I don't remember. So I started with the uh, darkest color at the bottom and then I'm going um, towards the lighter ones. And maybe you will see here that it. I have a little bit of a, uh, a little piece that hangs off the edge. If that bothers you, just trim it off. But you know, you, it probably wouldn't even um, be longer than a four and a quarter inch card. I just can't get my <laughs> sizes right all the time. So um, that's why I have that overhang. But I really like that look. So I just left it like that. It kind of reminds me of a, I don't know, like a crocheted piece uh, or a fabric piece, you know. Um, and now I am using some dyes from the previous month. Uh, or this one might be from last year, but I only used one flower from that. Um, I will link them in as well. I think I used them last month as well. And this one, the uh, Be, Be Bold Blooms, I believe. Uh, last time I saw them, they were out of stock, but I'm pretty sure that they will be restocked. I think they were probably very popular since they are so beautiful. Um, and then I'm also using one of the, well, the ampersand from the Stitched Alphabet. And actually, um, well, I don't know if any of you do some scrapbooking, some, well, quite a few years ago, it was all over the place. Uh, everybody was using huge ampersands as a focal point on their layouts, just like I did. Um, and I used to put flowers all around the ampersand uh, just to <laughs> make it more of a focal point. But uh, I will be honest, I have no idea what the point was behind the whole ampersand thing. I mean, meaning wise, um, but I'm going to do the same now <laughs> because I do like the shape of the ampersand. Meaning, I don't know. Um it will, I think it will work with the sentiment that I chose, but um, otherwise I think it's mostly just a design element, at least for me it is. Um, but I hope it's going to make sense for you as well. Um, otherwise it's going to be a very simple card. 
I wanted to keep that background. Um, I, I did not want to cover it up since I thought it was really beautiful. So um, I'll just create one focal point on the card, which is going to be the ampersand and then some um, cluster of flowers off to the left side here. And here I came in with some navy cardstock as well, just to just for, for it not to be all the same color as the background and so that it stands out um, a little bit more. And then I try to figure out how to arrange these. And once I, I settle, I'm, I'm settled on you know one design, I'm just starting to glue everything down. And here and there, I add some foam tape to uh, for for the other things, the leaves or foliage to be, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just so that it's uh, easier to layer it up. I think that's what I wanted to um, say, because, you know, sometimes when you glue um, layers on top of each other, especially when they are dimensional, um, they can look a bit odd I think so I like to leave a bit of distance between those pieces and that I can only achieve with um, foam tape that's why I use the foam tape on some of the <laughs> flowers and here I well I will set it aside and then I will finish the whole thing later and now I'm using another one of these dies this is the largest one and I only use the main piece I didn't use any of the border pieces and my my idea was here uh, to uh, create like a lace um, pattern to to cover that background but only actually the middle of it and I'm adding liquid glue to some of the areas not all of them but uh, I'm making sure that I add glue to the sides because I will trim those off here I did not leave the overhang, so here I'm come back and make sure that everything is glued down, just so that I don't have, uh, you know, nothing is sticking up once I um, trim it down. And if you look at that pattern in the middle of everything, middle of that uh, the, those large shapes, there's a cluster. Actually, <laughs> I now understand I have a reference that my you probably probably won't understand so I have I have my own company and I have a die that came out a few months ago that's called stitched no sorry that one is as well but um, the original one is called kilt background and that shape in the middle looks exactly like that so I thought I'm gonna fill these up these tiny spots just with orange cardstock sorry that my all my baby hairs are in the frame but I didn't want to edit this out just so you see how I feel that it takes no time at all uh, if you do it like I did just add a little bit of liquid glue and then you can just place uh, the die cut over the card base and fill those shapes in because they they did uh, stay in the you know the, the whole thing stayed together so it did not fall apart otherwise you would have to do it one by one. Then it would take a little bit longer. Um, and now I'm using another couple of letters from the stitched uh, alpha set. Um, I'm going with high and I'm not going to stitch this one either. I know some of you said that you love, love stitching. And I also know that some of you don't. So, um, yeah, I think... I've been stitching for years on paper <laughs> and I'm kind of, I'm not saying I'm done with it, but at the moment I need a bit of break from stitching. And um, also I really like this alphabet without the stitching because it reminds me of lace and I just love that elegant uh, look. So that's why I did this and I think I forgot to mention what I was doing uh, earlier with the ampersand as well I wanted to uh, this is typically something I would do with uh, cut files on scrapbook layouts uh, backing them with paper um, 
the reason behind this is I, I wanted to add navy so that the whole thing stands out of the background because you can see that I use tone on tone cardstock. So if I have all those holes, then it's a bit busy. So I added the navy card so for that reason. And I'm adding some foam tape for dimension and also so I can tuck um, some of the floral elements behind the die cut. And again, I'm using the same um, Be Bold Blooms die set and just one flower is from another set, which I will have to link in. I think, I, I don't want to lie, I, I do know which one it belongs to, but um, I don't know whose collection it was, but I think it was a, a Slimline collection and some kind of mini blooms. But anyway, I, again, I will not even try to remember. I will just link it in the description box below. That reminds me, have you guys seen the new Spa Binders website? I haven't seen it, um, but I know it's already online. Um, I still have to check it out, but I will now that I have to <laughs> find all those links. So yeah, I'm excited about it. If you know, I want to know if it changed or remained the same. It's just a different platform. Yeah, I just know that they were shut down for a couple of days. So, okay. So, um, I added most of my flowers to the left. Now, this one is a actually, I'm not sure if it's from the Be Bold collection, but anyway, it's a pretty recent uh, glimmer set, and I really love it. And so I foiled some, actually I already foiled for a, a previous card, this um, color, so I had some on hand. And here I uh, I uh, ruined the first um, foiled sentiment set, so that's why, or sentiment, just sentiment, not set. I layered another one of the same on top of it, just in case you get confused why I did that. And I'm... Um, not adding foam tape to that one, just liquid glue and then um, glue it down. And now I'm adding some enamel dots to finish this off. And what I wanted to say earlier is that I added most of the flowers to the left, but I I wanted to have a little bit of like a teeny tiny cluster on the right as well, just for repetition. <laughs> and that's it. I'm going to uh, push every enamel dot in place just to make sure that they are um, they stick well and they uh, stay in place for good. And I'm finishing off this card uh, with a navy twine bow and then I come back to the other card. And here I'm also adding some enamel dots to the flower and also again to the middle of the little holes there. I tried a different blue here as well, just not so I don't, don't use navy all the time, but it just didn't look good to me. So yeah, I stuck with navy. And this is another foiled sentiment from that set. And I absolutely love these. And I created a dimensional piece by adding some more layers. And then that's it. Both cards are finished. I hope you like these. And... I could give you some idea one way or another. Um, thank you very much for watching again, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.